Howdy fellas, I can make some today. Well, um, we're going out here first and um, gotta go put these pigeons back in their cage down here because, well, I've been hand feeding them and yeah, having to hand raise them. Because the mother, what up, Rich? The mother quit feeding them and taking care of them about four days ago. So I'm taking care of them now, but we're gonna go fishing here in a little while and um, I'm excited. Um, I would like to catch five today because five more fish and that will make a hundred large mouth on the year so far. So I'm really hoping I catch five. Um, I'm gonna grab some fresh straw before I throw these babies in there. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna grab that and I'll pick out back No up. freaking way y'all, I just called Daniel. Dang, Daniel's a thick fish. I didn't realize he was that caliber when we put him in here. Dang, we caught Daniel. I don't know how I did it. I can't, I mean, I know how I did it. I cast over there and whoa, whoa. I literally like, I didn't even jig it. I threw it out there and let it sit. All of a sudden, whoa, bam, we got Daniel. Oh my goodness. I haven't even went to the pond yet. I was, I came down here because I've been messing with him every couple of days. Trying to catch Daniel. Now I'm trying to figure out how to set y'all up. Yeah, look. On the old pink Sanko. Look, hold on, let me. Look at Daniel. Daniel's a thick fish. I mean, it's probably two pounder, but still. All right, y'all, up down here at the pond now. And um, actually, I'm checking the edges for bedfish. I haven't seen any, haven't even seen any bass on the bank. Um, well, we got one today. I want to try to at least catch four more. So, one of my buddies, he's on the way. He's walking. And, um, well, he said he's going to go down there and fish the river down there for a little bit. So, he's going to do that, but he'll be here, so... The two of us fishing today and um I'm trying to see if i spot any fish on bed um there was some nice ones here last year on beds but i never catch none of them so i'm gonna look around and see what i see and then we're gonna get to fish great well ricky was in the yard when i left he must follow me down here um well i gotta go pick him up so yeah great well i have to come back to fishing here in a minute well yeah it's not very nice when the dog's 40 feet from your house and somebody catches it and tells it, calls me and tells me I have to come and get my dog right this second because, well, because it's on their property. And I told him let it go and he'll go home. Yeah, that didn't happen. Yeah, so I had to go all the way back just to walk 20 yards and put him in a lot. Let's get back to fishing. All right. Well, must be an old perch or something. But I'm missing. There. There we go. Well, it's number two for the day. Not a bad little old fish. Well, got another one of the old bubble gum Senko. Not the big one that I seen sitting right there, but hey, there's a fish. So. Y'all know, snap a pick, number 97 for the year. Let's get him back. Um, hopefully we can slide in here and catch this big one. Okay, y'all, that's a five pound fish. Nah, I'm joking. It's like a, dang, I, that's, I don't want to do too much moving. But I believe that fish is on a beer. I'm gonna say he's a good three pounds. He might even be like four. I'll drop it right on his face. I don't want to move too much, but that's a big fish. That's all I can say. That's a big fish. All right, show up. Down on the last two. These are. Yep, bubble gum. That's what I think they were. 
the bubblegum pink they've became to be my new favorite um senkos and well senkos quickly became to be my favorite lure um so we're gonna i don't use bands i don't ever catch no fish when i use bands so we're gonna just try this for now and um hopefully we can catch one lately they haven't really been hitting it when i've been popping it just when i cast out there and let it set it's been doing a whole lot better so we're gonna that's a perch um yeah so we're gonna see what we can catch and another thing y'all don't forget your gopro if you're a youtuber in the back of your parents car it doesn't make them very happy when they have to run up and down the road six times go come and get you to go get your dog take it back to the house come back here drop it off come and get you Come back, bring my GoPro back. Yeah, I'm gonna have to walk on. That's that's confirmative. Well, we're gonna try to hook this big fish up. Oh, that wasn't a big fish, but that's a hey, he's worth trying to catch. That's a good two pound fish right there. Well, we're gonna try to set him up. The real big one is sitting right here. I, don't, I haven't seen it since I got back, but we're going to try to set him up with this. Yes, sir. Yep, seen him go up to the top and destroy it, y'all. Well, number 98 on the year. Get him back. See if we can get some more. I didn't, I didn't set the hook, he hit it, took off with it real quick, and well, I tried to click it so he could run with it. Well, that didn't happen. Oh my god. I did it again. I missed him. It's like tapping at it. I think, I'm trying to think it's perch. No way! Holy smokes! Ain't no way I just did that. Crappy. On a pink crappy on a pink Senko. Yeah. It's a big crappy. There the hook goes. Look at that. That's the first crap I ever caught on a Senko. Yeah. Well, see if we can get some more. Son of a gun. Number 99 on the year, and I forgot. I mean, I hit the button, but I must have missed it. Well, I seen this pile right here, and I fished it earlier, and I didn't get a bite. I was like, oh, I got, there's got to be a fish setting here. Well, ended up being a fish setting here. All right, y'all, well, number 99 on the year. Um, Pretty nice fish. Caught him on his brush pile right here. A bubblegum Senko. Only got one bubblegum Senko left, and it's on the other side of the pond. So I'm going to go grab the last one and maybe a pack of blue ones, and we're going to try to catch one more fish so we can hit 100. All right, y'all, well, kiss my old bubblegum Senko. And, uh, well, hopefully that'll be the lucky kiss, and we'll get number 100 right here. So let's see if we can get it done, y'all. Yes, sir. Number 100 is a thick one. Oh, yeah. Who? Yep. Number 100 is a sure thick one. Well, there we go, y'all. Number 100. I snuck right here. I flipped it on the old blue Senko and he fook up. There we go, y'all. Number 100. Get right. Oh, got to get this picture. Well, that's number 100, y'all. That is freaking awesome. Oh. All right, y'all. Well, number 100. I'm going to kiss 100 right here. 100 was a thick one. Probably had eggs in it. But, um, yeah. Caught on the old blue Senko. Flipped it right here. I was like, man, this show was a pretty spot. Oof. Well, 
next is 200. So I'm gonna get back to fishing and see if I can get 200. Can't really set the hook right here, but hey, there's fish here. Well, it's number six for today. Well, it's number six. Let's see if we can get some more. Whoa, what is going on on this thing? It's number seven for today. The They're rolling on this bank over here. Oh, not a bad little fish either. This blue Senko is killing it. Well, there we go. It's number seven for today. Yeah, this bank is rolling, y'all. Great. Now I have really messed up. Um, now I've got my pole stuck on the hook. So I gotta go for a swim. This is gonna be fun. Well, 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 well. Boy, this squirrel is going swimming for a two dollar hook. More like a 50 cent hook. Well, what else I got? Oh, dang it. I got all my GoPro batteries in my pocket. Hopefully y'all better see me. Hopefully y'all better see me pretty good. I'm gonna just off this. Put a pole. Hook breaks in here. All I can say y'all is water. <laughs> well, got my Sanko back y'all. Oh. Um, Yeah, way on it. Yeah, it's a Just a little though. Don't worry, y'all didn't miss nothing but me getting a big backlash in my line or my reel and getting snagged again. But I got my hook back this time without having to go for a big old swim. So I'm gonna go throw on a big bluegill and throw that away and see what I can get. Alright, child, I'll just have like a half pound fish trying to eat this. So this is what I'm throwing now, y'all. So yeah, he probably about half a pound, something like that, and he just tried to eat that thing. I mean, he chased it in. I mean, he wouldn't swipe at it, but he chased it all the way into the bank. And I played with him for a second, but he wouldn't hit it. And then the rattle trap, he didn't want that either. I had the Sanko tied on, I bet you I could have got him a worm. But I don't have that tied on that pole. But either way. Alright, y'all. Well, got this tied on here with a bullet weight. And, well, I know a lot of fish set in this grass. So, I'm just going to flip around in it. And I just missed a big one a second ago. I don't even know if I filmed it um, in the grass. My bluegill lure, literally, it went. I brought it in. I hit the grass with it. And a big one blew up on it. So we're gonna flip it with this and see what we can catch. No way. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. I just lost this. I just lost probably a probably freaking eight pound fish. Oh my god. I just lost like a freaking eight pound fish. Oh my god. Did y'all see that? That is the biggest fish I've seen all year. Like hook, no hook, in the water, out the water. Holy freaking smokes. That's the biggest fish I've seen. I can't even hold still, y'all. I'm freaking shaking. Well, it's between I'm cold and I just lost like an eight pound fish. <sighs> like that one, though, like, oh yeah, that was an eight pounder. No, that was a solid eight pounder. You want one of those five pounders you call an eight. Rocky. Oh my god. I felt him just poof. I felt him hit it. I, I let him have it. And I turned my camera on. I mean I ripped it. I, that's all I did. There ain't nothing I can do about it. I ripped it out of the mouth. Then I try to flip him. I should be done learning that by now. I've lost enough big fish. 
that I should be smart enough not to do that. But I didn't know how big it was. I thought it was like a one, two pound, maybe even three pound fish. Cause I ain't seen no big fish in this pond in a long time. That sucks. All right, y'all, well, hope you liked today's video. And um, well, I think we caught seven, maybe eight fish in this video. I don't really know. Um, I know that was the number 100 for the year. And well, we caught a bunch of fish, well, a few fish. We lost a really big one. Haven't seen him in there anymore, haven't hooked him. But since then, yeah, I've caught some, let's just say I've caught one. You can't quite see it right there. See that one? I caught two like that. So, yeah. So, y'all stay tuned and don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.